Okay, so here we have the solutions of Bradford, of Benedict, and iodine. So what we are going to do, we are going to add Bradford to the first row, Benedict to the second, and iodine to the third. We take the 200 microliter pipette and set it to 200. We take appropriate pipette tips so here it is and now we open the first row of these solutions so this is Bradford solution Before we start, it's better to start with mixing of the breadfruit, so three or four piping up and down will be sufficient. So we add to the first one and then change the tip because we assume it to be contaminated. take 200 and add it to the second solution again 200 and add it to the last one Okay, so now we are going to do the same stuff for Benedict solution. So again, we have the tip on and we open the second row of the secret solutions. So we take Benedict and start with piping in up and down. Change the tip and transfer Benedict solution to the second Eppendorf. Now close the leads and we need to transfer these Eppendorfs to the 60 uh, Celsius degree uh, water bath so that uh, the reaction happens. So here you can see the foam holders that will not let these Eppendorfs sink and turn over. As you can see here, we have 60 degree setup and now we just put it for 10 minutes in the water bath. Finally, we have the third set of the secret solutions and we are going to add 50 microliters of iodine to each of the tubes. Again, we are opening each of these secret solutions and then we start by mixing the iodine. So again, it's only 50 microliters. And of course, we are going to change the tip after each of these reactions.
so mix it very well. 